Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to unroot your Samsung Galaxy E5 or you can use this tutorial to flash your device to the original Samsung Galaxy ROM. I'm using the model Samsung Galaxy E5 00H. You can flash your device if you have rooted your device and you want to send for repairs as rooting your device will void its warranty. You might want to flash the original Samsung Galaxy E5 ROM to your device and then send it to repair your phone if it falls in one year warranty period. But you should know that rooting your device will void its warranty. So don't try to use it illegally. This is just a tutorial. You can also use this tutorial if you are getting that your device has been modified on updating your device as I will show you right now if it's checking for updates this will show you the operating system has been modified in an unauthorized way so if you want to remove this barrier then you have to flash the original Samsung Galaxy E5 ROM also if you go into the status of this phone that will be in the about section here you will see that the device status is custom. You want to remove this device status of custom to official state. Before moving forwards, I want to tell you that if you proceed with the following tutorial that I'm going to show you, I'm not responsible for anything untoward that might happen with your device. You are personally responsible for whatever happened. Also, I recommend backing up your data first because anything, as I already told you, anything can happen as it might potentially break your device even. Make sure that you have sufficient battery charge left in your device. I have 60% and I'll work with it. So let's get going with the tutorial. First of all you'll need to download three files. One is Samsung USB driver, one is Odin 3 and the Samsung official ROM for Galaxy E5. E5 has three models. I'm using E500H. You should use appropriate Samsung ROM for your device. The download links for all these files will be in the description below. First of all, you'll need to install Samsung USB drivers. There are two ways of installing Samsung USB drivers. One is Samsung keys and another is only installing Samsung USB drivers. I'll be using only Samsung USB drivers. You have to extract Samsung USB drivers here and then install it. I have already installed it. So you need to first install Samsung USB drivers. Then after downloading that Samsung Galaxy E5 ROM, extract it. I'll quickly move forward. Okay, this extracted file will contain a file which has an extension of .md5. You'll be using this file and then extract Odin 3. Here I'm using Odin 3.1.0. Run Odin 3 as an administrator by right clicking in it, selecting run as administrator. Okay, this is Odin 3. On the device, you will need to enable USB debugging. Go into settings. Here will be developer options. If you don't see developer options, go into about device and then click on build number. And the developer mode has been enabled. Go back into the settings. Here you'll see developer options and enable USB debugging. It's already checked for me, but make sure that USB debugging has been checked before moving forwards. Now, after checking USB debugging, switch off your device. Now you'll need to start your Galaxy E5 in developer mode. For that, you have to press volume down key, the home button key and the power key together. We'll do it in three, two, one. Keep the button pressed until the screen shows up. And then you'll have to press volume up to continue. Here the phone has started in the developer mode. Now after starting the phone in developer mode, you have to connect it to the PC using the USB cable provided. Okay, if everything goes well, you'll see COM port on Odin. As you can see, it shows COM6. So the device has been connected on COM6. I have kept the device here so that you can see properly. Now select AP for the older versions of Odin. You will see PDA instead of AP. Now select AP and select the file that you have downloaded. Select this file that you have downloaded for the device and click open. Odin will check for the file if it's valid or not. It's checking MD5 so please wait for that. I'll quickly move forward with this. 
checking md5 finish successfully and leaves yes now go to options and make sure that auto reboot and f reset time is checked do not check repartition now you have press the start button press in 3 2 1 do not touch your device while the data is being flashed on the device as it might get disconnected and that might potentially break your device it will take some time i'll quickly move forward with that here you are seeing that the system is written here at the end this will show pass if it shows pass then everything went successfully if it didn't show pass then something went wrong the file is around 1.2 gigabytes so transferring the file into the device will take some time after the file has been transferred to the phone the device will reboot okay the device has been rebooted and it shows pass here the Odin is showing pass and the device is restarting as this is the first boot it might take some time Okay, the device has been flashed as you can see the Odin is showing pass now let's see what is the status of the device go into settings about device and then status here at the bottom now you can see the device status as official so the device has been flashed to the official ROM we'll go back we'll go into software updates and update now we'll see whether it will update or it will show as modified okay it's not showing as your device being modified so let's updates have already been installed okay one thing after the flashing your device you will make sure that you hard reset your device that's important for that you will power off your device first we'll power off the device and then you'll need to hard reset your device for that press volume up key the home button key and the power button key together it will start in recovery mode now for moving up and down you'll need to press the volume keys so after rebooting your device in the recovery mode you'll need to wipe data factory reset and then select it using the power key and then move down delete all user data make sure that your device has been backed up because this will delete everything on your phone and restore to its original state so we'll press power button to select it okay we'll first zoom out so that you can see what will happen and press the power button just try dating it up formatting data and data wipe complete after that we'll need to reboot the system now and select power button to reboot it now as device has been hard reset so it will take time to boot up so don't worry i'll quickly move forward with that okay so this is it this is how you unroot your samsung galaxy e5 it works for all the galaxy e5 models and this is also the tutorial by which how you flash your device to the original samsung galaxy rom if you have any queries regarding this tutorial leave a comment down below i'll try to answer it if you like this video then please click the like button bottom of the video for more unboxing reviews and tutorial please subscribe to my channel have a good day goodbye